Today we're taking a look at some of the modifications that Ashley has done to her Forerunner. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. It has been a while since you guys have seen Ashley's Forerunner here on the channel. And over the past couple of months, she has been adding some modifications to it. And I'm gonna do just a quick walk around of her rig so you guys can kind of get an idea of what she's doing to it and where it's gonna be going in the future. I have a rig. You have a rig? I have a rig. Do you wanna do the walk around? This is my car. Okay. Beautiful. That's it. That's it. All right, thanks for watching. <laughs> Okay, on a serious note though, this is how the Uni Runner, Uni Runner is sitting right now. This is a 2022 TRD Off-Road 4Runner and it's looking a little more proper than the last time that you guys saw this thing. I guess in no real particular order, we'll just start up front and work our way towards the back. This one I know. This one you know, okay. This one I know. Starting up front, let's, let's take it away. We got our Raptor lights here. <laughs> yeah. Nice. And then we have a C4 Low Pro front bumper with high clearance additions. And then we have a 30 inch diode stage series. Yeah, diode dynamics light bar. All right, so like Ashley said, uh, right up front she has a TRD Pro grill. I believe that was installed in one of the previous videos that you guys saw this thing out in some snow. She added some Raptor lights from Running for Tacos, and the whole front end looks a whole lot different because she's now running a C4 low profile bumper with a Diode Dynamics 30 inch light bar in there, white light, and she opted for the mid-height bowl bar on there. So it's not super intrusive. I believe you could still run a front camera underneath here, which she doesn't have right now, but overall it's a pretty clean look. No winch as of right now, no other protection underneath, so no skid plates or anything yet, but that may come in the future. In addition to the low profile bumper, she opted for the high clearance sides. So instead of just doing a standard Viper cut, this will actually give you a little bit of protection there because you have your windshield wiper reservoir and some other like vital components behind there. You will notice that the hood is not wrapped because there's going to be a new wrap going on there. Wait, you like to move. Oh, I know what it is. She's putting side camo on this hood at some point, so it's kind of dirty right now, but once we get some new rolls printed, Jake from Lucid Wraps is gonna wrap that thing and it's gonna be looking pretty cool. Now moving to wheels, tires, and suspension. So right up front here, she opted for just a pretty simple lift. This is a Toytec two and a half inch lift with just the springs. And she also needed some SPC upper control arms there. That way she could get the proper fitment without rubbing too much because of the tires. She switched out the stock wheels for some RRW, Relation Race Wheels RR5s. These are 17 by eight and a half with a negative 25 offset and it looks pretty good. Not a whole lot of poke and it's still functional because this is her daily driver. Those RRWs are wrapped in Falcon Wild Peak AT3s and hopefully they should be pretty good in the snow because we're getting snow here kind of soon. <laughs> now coming towards the back of the Forerunner, this is gonna be a little bit harder to see. But underneath here she has the Toytec Super Flex rear coils which basically levels it out so I think overall it's sitting at about maybe like a three inch lift with the different wheels and tires. Technically like a two and a half inch suspension lift overall. And that about rounds out the suspension. And now for the most recent mod, where were we two days ago? Sherpa! What's going on on top of the 4Runner? I got a Crestone roof rack. Yeah, so we went up to visit Sherpa, local company, and she's got a whole new roof rack on here now. So this was all just stock before, but she opted for the Crestone from Sherpa. And the guys at their shop actually filmed a whole install video of this. So you guys can probably find that on their social media sometime here in the future. I filmed a little bit of it, and we still need to take some photos of this thing for the gram, but I actually really like this setup. Just Sherpa racks in general, mixed with C4 armor. They kind of go like hand in hand. Really nice rugged look and that thing is super solid on there. She doesn't have anything mounted to it yet. She does not have the cutout for the light bar. I don't know if you'll need a light bar on the roof. That's really up to you. But you do have one thing, which is not really a mod. Got all the blacked out emblems from Running for Tacos. 
You got some Max tracks back here. Happy anniversary to me. That was an anniversary what gift. What every woman wants. You wanted the extracts. It's that Tiffany blue for me. Yeah. I mean, it's <laughs> Tiffany blue prices. So We could mount those on the roof at some point, but she doesn't really know if, when she'll mount them, if you'll use them. But you oh, got I'll them. use them. You might. You got to take this thing out on the trails. I know. Now, last but not least, let's come over here to the interior. Something that I found kind of interesting is that the TRD off-road this is actually a newer vehicle than mine. My truck is a 21. The 22 off-roads for the 4Runners, and I believe most 4Runners, don't come with heated seats or remote start. So, Ashley doesn't like driving in the winter all that much because it's cold. So she added a remote start, that way she can get this thing started while you're sitting in the warmth of our home. So the remote start, obviously not anything that you can see, but that was done at Running for Tacos. So then down here, we've got Teton Workshop gear shifters. I'm running a gray version of this one in my Tacoma. So she has the Forerunner version, and this one is actually kind of custom. She's got purple inlays on here for the G10. And then when you have a Forerunner, of course, you have the four-wheel drive select over here. So she got a little one to match. I think that was a gift too. Was that your birthday gift? No, that was a Just For So gift. Just For So. I'm just For So. Shout out to uh, Teton for hooking these up. What you got over there? Throttle grenade. Yeah. I think I did a video on that too. She's got a Black Ops off-road throttle grenade. So if you guys want to pick one of those up, I actually have a discount code, which I'll leave in the description down below. What's your favorite mode to drive in? Cause I drive my truck in stock mainly. Intel for sure. So she drives an Intel mode, which basically picks up on your driving habits and then it will adjust your throttle sensitivity based off of how you drive. Because my truck is tuned and re-geared and it sits the way that it does, I actually like the way that it drives in the stock mode, but I'll use it in off-road plus mode when I'm going really fast off-road. And I'll leave a link for the install video of that in the description as well. And then last but not least, you guys have seen this before, my 3T Pam in my truck. She got essentially the same thing. This is coming from Expedition Essentials and this is their 4Runner accessory mount. As you can see, I have a lot of accessories. Yeah, a lot of accessories Jam here. Passed up here. So she's got a little RAM mount with a phone mount. A lot of people ask how I mount my phone in my truck, and this is actually what I use too. So I'll leave a link for that. It's just like a little magnet off of Amazon, and it fits perfectly with a little RAM extension. She's got accessory power here for two different USB ports, and I mean, you've got a lot more mounting points up here which you may mount stuff to in the future, or you may not. Maybe, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, didn't show them my favorite modification. What's your favorite modification? My unicorn trash can. Oh my gosh. How could you forget? You got a unicorn trash can in here and a dog taco for Camber. Yeah, of course. So that's about all for the modifications on the 4Runner. If you guys want to see more of the progress of this thing, you can check out her Instagram, which is just at uni underscore runner. And once we get the hood wrapped and clean the thing up, take some pictures and throw them up over there. If you guys have any questions on this thing, you can let me know in the comments down below. No, they can ask me, I know all the answers. Okay. What is the front suspension you're running? Toy tech. What kind of toy tech? Toy tech. How much lift? Two no. inches. No. Two and a half. Two and a half. <laughs> How is it lifted? Up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so ask ask Ashley all your questions on her car. It is her car. Nailed it. I have little to no input in this build. Like she's just like, I like C4. I'm, C4 is the best. So she's like, I think I should get this. I said, yeah, I think you should. She said, I think I'm gonna get a Sherpa rack. I said, yeah, you should. I should get a Sherpa rack on my truck. You should get a Sherpa rack on your truck. RRW wheels, they look great. Falcon Wild Peaks, good tire. So overall it's coming together pretty nice. And maybe in the springtime when some trails open up and it's not snowing in Colorado, we will get this thing out and do some like camping videos in the 4Runner instead of my truck. You don't want to go get stuck in the snow again? No, I mean, if I'm driving, <laughs> All right, guys, that's all for today. If you're new to the channel, consider clicking subscribe. I make new videos every week. As always, thanks for watching. Talk to you in the next one. Beep.